Good morning friends. Welcome back to Pannika's Tutorials. In the last few videos, I have discussed what is an algorithm, what are the characteristics of an algorithm, how to write an algorithm. Then I have discussed about what is a flow chart, how to draw a flow chart for a particular problem. All these things I have discussed in detail. I hope you have watched those videos. If you don't know those concepts, I request you to go back and watch those videos and come back to this video. In this video, I will discuss about brief history of C programming language. Some people may think that if I say the word called history, they will think that Saar will discuss about the Akbar, Mughal, all these things. I will not discuss about them. I will discuss about how the C programming language came into the picture. Before C programming language, what are the other programming languages are there? All these things I will discuss in detail. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. In the 1960, there was a group called International Group has designed a programming language called ALGOL. This is the first structured programming language because C is also a structured programming language, but ALGOL is the first structured programming language in computer. Now, this programming language was never famous in USA but it was widely accepted in the European countries. Then in 1967, Martin Richards have developed a programming language called BCPL. The BCPL stands for Basic Combined Programming Language. This language has been developed to design the system software. Now using the features of the BCPL in 1970, Ken Thompson have developed a programming language called B. Now using this B programming language, the researchers have developed Unix operating system. Okay. Now, the problem with the B and BCPL is they are typeless programming languages. The B and BCPL languages are typeless programming languages. So they have used the futures of the B. In 1972, Dennis Ritchie have developed a programming language called traditional C. Now what are the modifications he has done is that he introduced the concept called data types. We have int, we have a float, we have the char, we have the double, all these data types are there. Even we have the user different data types such as structure, pointers, all these things. All these things came into the picture with the help of introducing the concept called data types. And even they have introduced powerful futures which was earlier not there in the B language. And one more thing is that Using this traditional C, they have started designing the Unix operating system also at the Bell Laboratories. Okay. Now the C programming language become very famous. In 1978, Ritchie has written a textbook called K and R C. So that other people can read about the C programming language. Then between 1978 to 89. So many versions of the C language came into the picture. People used to get confused which version is better, which version is not better, all these things. Then in 1989, there was a committee has been formed, ANSI committee. ANSI means American National Standard Institute Committee. Okay. This committee has approved a version of a C programming language and that version will be called as ANSI C. Then in 1990, the ISO committee has approved the whatever the in 1989 ANSI committee has approved the same thing in 1990 ISO committee is also approved International Standard Organization Committee. Okay. Then between 1990 and 1999, so other programming languages also came into the picture such as C++ and Java. Then they have added few more futures to the ISOC and they come with a version called C99. 
which was developed by the standardization committee so this is about the history of the c programming language how the c programming language came into the picture before c there was a programming language called b so this is about the history i hope you have enjoyed the video and thank you for watching the complete video if you still have any doubts regarding this history please ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you so much